Hello, I'm Mikey Campling, and today I'm bringing you a podcast to introduce you to a bit of classic fantasy and magic that I think you may not have read. Um, I'm going to do a few of these videos to try and uh, bring some forgotten gems or some perhaps um, unsung heroes. Uh, if you have any suggestions, then please do let me know. Contact me on my website at mikeycampling.com or uh, mention me on Twitter at Mike Campling. And it doesn't really matter what genre the book is. So perhaps it could be a childhood classic, a YA classic, um, uh, something that feels like a classic to you. It could be any genre at all. It could be a really fantastic piece of sci-fi, historical fantasy, anything like that at all. Let me know what book you'd like me to have a look at. And if it's really good, I will blog about it and vlog about it and push it out in my newsletters. It's to serve my subscribers and uh, just spread the word about it because I'm always looking for really good books to read and I particularly like, I think there's a, a certain nice little extra pleasure in discovering something and bringing something to light that maybe is not quite as widely recognised as it could be or should be. So today I'm going to uh, talk about the Snow Spider trilogy uh, by an author called Jenny Nimmo. And this is a paperback version and I can't find this on the on Amazon.com. So in the States, you might find it difficult to get hold of the paperback of the full trilogy. I'm not sure why that would be. Um, you sh hopefully you can get it in the UK. I bought this some years ago. It's looking quite dog-eared and that's really because I've read it a few times. Um, sometimes by accident, I've picked it up and thought that was a nice book and just flicked inside it. And before I knew it, I was reading it and getting to the end. Um, so that tells you what I think of it. It's a very gripping tale. Um, yes, it is a children's book, I guess, but then so is The Hobbit and so are many other fantastic books. Uh, it won a prize. It won the uh, Smarties Grand Prix, which is a, a children's book prize here in the UK. So at some point it was obviously highly thought of, but I just don't see it mentioned anymore. Um, so I really want to, to highlight it again. So in The Snow Spider, uh, the young protagonist of the story has an encounter with magical forces and I won't go into any more of the plot than that so there are no spoilers because I really hate to have spoilers especially for a, a book that I'm looking forward to reading um, but it does that make it a good book for YA readers and adult readers and I would say yes because in the snow spider magic is handled slightly differently to things like the Harry Potter relatively safe version of uh, magic. I'm not saying anything against Harry Potter, they've got a lot going for them. I enjoyed the first few books, certainly. Um, kind of lost interest in the later ones a bit, but you know, they they are, are good stories well told. The difference in something like The Snow Spider is that if you think about it, magic, real magic, were you to encounter it, would absolutely turn your life upside down. It wouldn't all be, um, you know, um, lots of gold in the bank and uh, lots of friendly little creatures running about bringing you cream cakes all the time. Um, it would actually destroy your sense of self-identity, I think, if you were to discover some magical power. And I think as a child, it would be incredibly uh, upsetting. Um, children like to have stability and security in their lives. And um, when they don't have that, for whatever reason, it, it's... it's um, anxiety inducing. So the snow spider takes a, a bit of a grittier, edgier look at the idea of magic and how that might intersect with somebody's childhood in an interesting way. Now it's not a, a gory book or it's not kind of um, going into nasty details but there are some dark themes running through it and I would liken this to the way that say Roald Dahl was a genius at recognizing that yes young children have these dark fears and dark dreams and imaginings and he dealt with those in a fantastic way not by sweeping them under the carpet but by bringing them out into the into the light and exploring them and this book is a little bit like that so you can see uh, some of the darker themes woven through the fabric Jenny the Nimmo has set the uh, world of the snow spider in Wales in um, for more intensive purposes, modern day Wales. I don't think that need be a barrier to anybody who's thinking, oh gosh, am I going to understand all the words? Um, yeah, there's, there's a couple of uh, perhaps pet names that you might not be familiar with, but it's all handled very cleverly. It doesn't um, get in the way of the story at all. The 
characters are, are great, the situations are very gripping, and what I like about Jenny Nimmo is she's a very economical writer, so there's no sort of, uh, no flowery language and, and flannel and padding, it's all good stuff. You, every sentence is getting you deeper into the characters and further along with the story, and that's what I think makes it a cracking read whatever age you are. One of the clever things that I like about uh, Jenny Nimmo's handling of the situations in The Snow Spider is that there are certain themes which will resonate perhaps more strongly with adults than they will with uh, younger readers. And I think that's really quite a good trick to pull off. So there may be things in there that an adult will get out of it. Um, a bit like they, you know, they do in the Pixar movies where there's lots of jokes that the adults laugh at um, but that go over the heads of the kids. Um, so there are elements in there that I think will make an adult feel, you know, on the edge of their seat, but will probably go over the ed um, go over the heads of children. So uh, it's in that way kind of multi-textured, multi-layered, um, and that makes it a, a really good rich read as well. It's a fairly thick book to read all three in the, the trilogy, but it's a good pace. So that's something I look for in a good book nicely paced and it will take you through it um, and it will make you think as well and it will perhaps in some of the themes in there that are dealing with relationships what happens when relationships go wrong relationships in childhood with things like friendship and within families dysfunctional relationships in families and how they can be put right these things are in there and um, and why not because younger readers these things are part of their lives if there isn't some uh, problem in their own family, then there probably is in their best mate at school or their best friend at school, or, you know, somebody they know will be having some kind of strife uh, in their family, no doubt. It's part of real life. And that's one of the things I like about this book as well, that it, it, it's more realistic in the way that real life can be slightly edgy and slightly troubling sometimes. I'm making it sound as though it's a bit dark and doom and gloom and there are moments of sort of wonder and magic and you know happy things happen in it as well and certainly the magical element is sometimes frightening and sometimes rather wonderful and, and magical and unexpected. It's not the kind of waving a wand around style of magic and shazam and here I go and you know there is none of that. So the magic is generally quite unexpected and I like that, the idea that these magical forces are very powerful and if you do something with them or attempt to, you'll probably end up with a totally different result. Um, especially if you were a child, wouldn't you? You know, you'd try it perhaps and it would go disastrously wrong. Of course it would. Um, so there are lots of unexpected twists and turns as well. Okay, I'll tie it up there. The book is uh, The Snow Spider Trilogy by Jenny Nimmo. Um, and it's widely available as a Kindle book and as certainly I've seen some audio versions knocking about as well on Amazon. Uh, over on my website there'll be links there to uh, chase that up if you want to buy it. If you have a classic or just a great book, it doesn't have to be classic in that sense, but a really great book that you feel you'd like to bring to everybody's attention, uh, please give me a shout. Uh, contact me mikeycampling.com or on Twitter at mikeycampling. I'm trying to get a hashtag going of good books spelled hashtag G-U-D-B-U-X and we'll see if we can promote some of these good books and get them out there for everybody to recognize and enjoy. Thank you for watching and listening. Uh, remember you can also sign up for, for my newsletter and get news about good books and all sorts of other things and you get two free books at least um, by signing up for my newsletter using the URL mikeycampling.com forward slash giveaway and giveaways are one word. Thank you very much and that's it for today. See you soon. Bye.